It's October and I've got a sweaty cardio walk for us. No equipment needed, so let's go. All right, killer bees, let's go ahead and get moving and grooving. And that means that we're getting started with some arm circles with high knees. I love it when that first one is off balance. How about you? You guys, welcome to the workout. I'm Paula B. I'm your best middle-aged fitness friend. And around here, we are all about making peace with your menopausal body by finding a healthy weight and moving in ways that feel like self-love, you guys. <laughs> Even when I'm a little bit off balance, cardio always feels like self-love. You, I mean, okay. If you're brand new, hi. Hey, welcome, sometimes I sing, I definitely talk a lot, and I love me some cardio. I also love me some strength. I don't know why I still sing when we're doing cardio. Sometimes I sing when we're doing strength too. Sometimes, sometimes I just sing. I mean, if you're in the car with me, we are definitely singing. <laughs> just FYI, <laughs> you guys. Today is going to be so much fun. I have a step stool workout planned for us today. Go ahead and do some arm crossers with booty kickers. A step stool is like a ladder workout, but it's like the kinder, gentler version of a ladder workout. And if you don't know what a ladder workout is, don't worry, I'm gonna explain it. On a ladder, we would normally like start off kind of easy and then build by adding one more exercise every single round. I used to, a long, long time ago, I used to do ladder workouts all the time because they're brutal. Oh my gosh, they're really hard because you start off easy and then it just gets harder and harder and harder and harder and harder. And so, several years ago, when, you know, when this happened, when I turned 50 and life came to me in a different way than it did for many, many years before that, I decided that there must be a kinder, gentler way to do this kind of work. And step stools is the kinder, gentler way. Now, don't worry. It still starts off easy, which is my favorite thing about step stools. Let's go ahead and do some welcome to my homes because welcome to my home. During a step stool, what we will do, we will start off with one exercise and then we will rest. Yeah, I know. And then we'll do two exercises and then we will rest. And then we will do three exercises and then we will rest. And that's when we're going to be done with that step stool. And then we're going to start with one exercise again. Do not let the amount of rest in this workout fool you. <laughs> like, like just don't. It's not, it's not easy. It never is. And you can always control the amount of intensity in any workout. This one is easier to moderate. It's easier to make it easy, but you could, I mean, you could do whatever works for you, my friends. Moderation, moderation is the key to losing weight. It is the key to being fit and healthy at this age. It is the key to basically everything good in life. I mean, really, if we're gonna, if we're gonna go ahead and expand that out, <laughs> let's go ahead and get started on walking before, before I get too philosophical. The thing about moderation is it's always up to you to figure out what is moderate. Today's moderate might actually be really different from tomorrow's moderate or yesterday's today's moderate or last week's moderate or psh, for me five years ago moderate five years ago moderate was not this let me tell you but now now this feels amazing okay so we're resting I usually do tappers I call these Robert Palmers because <laughs> like the girls from addicted to love you know <laughs> I just tap a little bit because this is what I do. When it beeps again, we're walking again and we're adding something I call bug slappers, which is an exercise where we're starting off like in the letter T. Let's go ahead and do some walking. We're starting off like in the letter T with your arms out and your feet together. As you step one foot out, you're gonna reach your opposite hand down as though you're gonna slap a bug off of your ankle. Now, do you need to actually slap your ankle? No, please don't. There's really no reason for that. It's just, it's just a silly thing that I like to call it. But that whole stepping out thing is what actually makes this workout or this exercise a little bit challenging. Really changing your center of balance, taking that step out, leaning down, having your hands out. Oh yes, look at that, our heart rate came up like it does. When it beeps again, we're gonna get 20 seconds of rest. Did I tell you how long the intervals were? I don't think I did. Oh, I'm not walking, I'm resting. Okay, when it beeps again though, <laughs> we're gonna walk. We're gonna do bug slappers, and then we're gonna do kick jacks. Now, you probably already kind of feel how when we add another exercise, oh yeah, we've literally doubled our exercise by adding the second one. Now this time, we're not really tripling, well, we're tripling the first thing. We're gonna walk, we're gonna do bug slappers, and we're gonna do kick jacks, and that interval, you'll notice, starts to get a little bit more difficult. This is how we figure out at any point in time how to moderate our workouts. We pay attention to what it feels like when it beeps. We're doing those bug slappers. We're gonna have our hands out to the side. We're gonna step out, whoo, 
doggies, here we go. This is some fun stuff. When it beeps again, we're gonna do those kick jacks. Kick jacks are exactly what they sound like. Your hands are gonna be doing jumping jacks, but there's no jumping today, no transitions to the ground. Your feet are gonna just be kicking whatever direction you'd like. I usually like to kick forward, because that's easiest for me and my uncoordinated brain. <sighs> Now here's what I did. I made sure that the third exercise in every step stool, a little bit more challenging. This is how you can figure out what's moderate for you. When it beeps again, we're getting 20 seconds of rest and then we're moving on to our next step stool. I've got lots of fun exercises planned for us today. <sighs> the thing that I love about step stools, honestly, is that because we get rest, I can, as a girl who likes to push the envelope and not always go moderate, when it beeps again, by the way, we're doing low swinging tappers, which is literally this with our feet, except we're adding our hands in and they're swinging from side to side. So here we go, tapping and swinging, tapping and swinging. I still like to do that little bit of a push, but not really a push. This is the thing about a step stool. You can keep it moderate, like overall, but still for 20 seconds, like give it a little bit of a something. Give it a little bit of a, not a push. Again, it's not really a push. Here's 10 or 20 seconds of rest. But give it a little bit of oomph so that you feel like, oh man, yeah, I really got sweaty. I really did good today. But you're also taking plenty of rest. <laughs> It's like the perfect mix of resting and moderation and feeling like I'm, you know, young. <laughs> Here we go with those low swinging tappers. <laughs> I, I have to be honest, I do actually still feel very young. Like 99% of the time, I don't really think about my age very often. Sometimes I look in the mirror and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm 51? I'm like, what happened? <laughs> When it beeps, we're doing front punch kicks. It's exactly what it sounds like. We're doing a front punch with a kick. It's a front punch with the opposite hand if you can. If you got started kicking and punching on the same side, it does not matter. It really doesn't. I like to go opposite just so that I can really kind of work my core a little bit. When in doubt, I like to get in a little bit more core work. So having your core pulled in and moving across your body like this, it's really good for your brain-body connection as well. Here's 20 seconds of rest. I like, I like to think about where my body is in space and time, even though I'm not super coordinated with that <laughs> when it beeps again. This is our the top of the step stool. We're doing low swinging tappers. We're doing the front punch kicks, which I mean, I you have no idea how much I wanted to call them fruit punch kicks because that's what comes out of my mouth much easier than front punch. <laughs> But this time we're also adding rainbow jacks. That's where your hands are gonna go up over your head like a rainbow and one knee comes out to one side at a time. First up though, of course, when it beats, we're doing those fruit punch kicks. Really thinking about having your core pulled in, about moving at a pace that feels good for you, not worrying if it takes two or three seconds to transition between the exercises because that's what it takes me. It's totally okay. My friends, my friends, if you were having fun and moving, you are doing this workout right. And really specifically, if you're not getting injured, you are doing this workout exactly right. Here comes rainbow jacks, hands going up overhead. Whoo, really swinging, really getting it rocking. Little push, maybe not. Maybe whatever works for you, what feels moderate for you. Same pace as me, slower than me, faster than me, different than me, maybe you don't like this exercise. <laughs> totally okay, we're only doing this one for one interval. And here's 20 seconds of rest. I came back to walking. Ah, that's funny. I like to, I like to walk in between. It's interesting to me now that I do more endurance type workouts than like hit workouts for a long time. I did nothing but hit workouts. I, I have a hard time thinking about resting except that it, it feels nice. Here we go with can cans. It's a knee and a kick and a knee and a kick on the other side. Getting a little bit of rock in here. We're halfway into the workout, almost halfway into the workout. Out, we can figure out what feels good. What feels good to you? Is it can-cans? <laughs> Is it not can-cans? <laughs> Here's 20 seconds of rest. Is it the Robert Palmers? I think this feels good to everybody. This reminds me so much of just like rocking a baby when we had young babies at home. So this is like my favorite motion of all time. When it beeps again, we're adding a second exercise. We're doing can-cans, the knee and the kick, and we're also doing walking stars. You probably, if you have not been around here before, 
You probably know walking stars as like a box step or a V step. It's a very, I'm gonna call it a simple exercise. I think if you have ever done like step aerobics or anything, you know exactly what a box step is. I tell you what, it is the hardest thing in the world for me. I had to give it another name for my brain to be able to understand it. So it's step forward and then step back. Hands go up, hands come down. We're picking an apple, we're putting it in our pocket. <laughs> I like to change leader leg every time. That maybe is why it's more difficult for me personally because I do make it harder on myself. That's, gosh, that's the story of my life right there, isn't it? <laughs> Here's 20 seconds of rest. Oh my gosh, you guys, I was not born coordinated and I have not developed very much of it in my lifetime. And yet somehow I still try and make things harder on myself than necessary. When it beeps again, we're doing the whole step stool. We're doing can-cans, we're doing the walking stool. Stars. And then to continue our celestial theme, here we go with can-cans, even though can-cans aren't really celestial, we're doing star bursts. Star burst is where it's not even a squat. Don't worry, we don't have to get all the way down into a, like a full-on squat. It's kind of like a little crouch, like a little, a little uh, where we put our butt back behind us, and then we burst out of it with one foot and both hands going up and out. We're of course doing walking stars first. Walking stars, here we go. Picking an apple, putting it in your pocket. So the starburst, honestly, it's a lot like this in terms of one foot, but we're going to do both hands. So it's just like a little tiny bit of a squat. We get little and then we get big. As we get big, so we get little, we get big. As we get big, one foot comes out to the side. Pew! We're bursting out of it. You can feel having both hands up at a time, very different from one hand at a time. This is that burst of intensity. When it beeps again, whew, we're gonna get 20 seconds of rest, okay? Okay, okay, you see how this is going now? Starting to feel like there's some intensity there, but still moderate overall. Again, pretty much my favorite thing in the world. You guys, when it beeps again, I'm gonna scoot over just a little tiny bit. We're doing something I call push, push. Sometimes, if you've been around here before, you've seen this as a push, push, crunch. You're welcome to do that if you like to. I like to just do push and push sometimes. This is a little bit kinder and gentler. <laughs> That is my theme today, being kinder and gentler on ourselves. You guys, there is no downside. I tell you what, I tell you lots of what's, but I'm gonna tell you this particular what. I, I spent my life, here's 20 seconds of rest. I have spent most of my life trying to be hard on myself and see if that gets me results, and it doesn't. You cannot, you cannot be angry at yourself to your goal. Being loving to yourself is the answer to pretty much all of life's questions. When it beeps again, we're doing push, push. Here we go. Push and push, push and push. We're pairing this with booty kicker jacks. Your hands are going to be doing jumping jacks, even though we're not jumping today. Your lower body is going to be doing booty kickers. Or <laughs> if this one's difficult for you, like it was for me when I first started doing this exercise, your lower body is doing whatever it wants to do. <laughs> My friends, I love the fact that there is no magic to any one exercise, any one time. If I ever, I mean this literally, ever do an exercise that you just don't like, can't do, can't get, drives you crazy, don't want to ever see again for the rest of your life, do something else. Like, for real, here's 20 seconds of rest. There's nothing about any one thing that we do that gets you someplace, unless it's self-love. <laughs> <laughs> but it's being consistent over time, and really even with self-love, it's being consistent over time with your loving self that gets you everywhere you want to go. Here we go with push, push. This time we're doing the whole step stool. We're adding on something I call overhead to high knees, which is just about the simplest exercise ever, which is why I gave that to myself this far into the workout. When it beeps though, we're doing those booty kicker jacks, doing jumping jacks with our hands, doing booty kickers with our booty. <laughs> Not really with your booty. Although really, you are getting your booty involved in there. Standing on one foot at a time. Got your core pulled in nice and tight. That's balance work, my friend. That means your booty is doing some work. Overhead to high knees is exactly what it sounds like. We're gonna put both hands up overhead. We're gonna bring both hands down to one high knee at a time. You can go as fast or as slow as you'd like to. You can think about it in between. Since kicking backwards and now bringing up one high knee in front of you feels a little bit coordinate-y. But that's what we do around here. We challenge ourselves just the right amount. Not too much, not too little, and it feels good. When it beeps again, we've got 20 seconds of rest. Ah, <sighs> ah, 
my friends. You know what's coming up next? <laughs> We're starting a new step stool. We're gonna do punch down tap outs. And that's, I mean, it is what it sounds like, except that I'm not sure if that's what it sounds like because we're gonna punch down. While we punch down, we're tapping out with that same foot, but out to the side. So we're punching down right in the middle and then we're tapping out. I get a little bit of a bounce on this one. If you don't want to, don't, totally okay. You can always, always, I feel like I've said it several times, but I'm gonna tell you again, you can always do exercises in whatever way works for you. You wanna jump on this one, please feel free. I mean, if you've got downstairs neighbors, you might consider not jumping, but if you want to jump, like to jump, like to do squats, like to do lunges, like to do whatever, help yourself. This workout is perfect for me and that's why I'm doing it this way. When it beeps again, we're doing those punch down tap outs and we're adding wide open side kicks, which means that we're gonna have our hands just about chest level with our elbows at shoulder level. That's what gets tricky on that one. Hands are gonna open and close. While your hands are opening out to the sides, we're going to kick one foot out to the side. Now, I will tell you that most of the time when I'm talking about any kind of kicking, I'm really not putting a lot of power behind it. I'm really just kind of raising my leg out to the side. You are welcome to think about this however you'd like to. I, doing cardio, I tend to think about pulling in my core much more so than trying to like raise or lower my leg with a lot of like real carefulness to it. I notice that I'm working my inner and outer thighs. I notice, here's 20 seconds of rest, that I'm trying to squeeze from my side butt area, but I'm not being like so precise with it. When we're doing cardio, the real, the real reason we do cardio is to bring your heart rate up. And as long as you are not injuring yourself, kind of however you are moving your body is completely okay. When it beeps again, we're doing the whole step stool. It's punch down tap outs with wide open side kicks and then we're adding on that double knees. And my friends, that actually brings up kind of a good point about knowing what you're trying to get out of a workout, how that informs the way you actually do the workout. When we're doing cardio, the point is to move relatively quickly, relative to, here we go with wide open side kicks, relative to you, meaning what works for you, what works for your heart rate, what works for your fitness level. When it beats again, we're doing double knees. Hands are gonna go up overhead. We're gonna bring both hands down to one knee, two times in a row on one side, and then two times in a row on the other side. When we're doing something more strengthy, so here we go with double knees. Whoo, doggies, this is our last exercise in our last step stool. The next time it beeps, we are done. We're not quite finished. We're gonna get 20 seconds of rest because my heart rate is up nice and high at this point, exactly where I want it to be at a nice moderate heart rate. Ah, and I've got some balance work for us as a finisher. Gonna finish us off with something so important to our work. Okay, we're doing single sided leg twister jacks. I'm gonna stand on my left leg because I'd like to get that one over with. Your right knee is gonna come up. Your foot is gonna twist. I'm gonna call it in while your hands come down. And then you can put your foot all the way down if you want to. I'm gonna try and just tap. And then your right foot tips out. So you're touching essentially your left hand to your foot and then your right hand to your foot. Core is pulled in, really balancing on that left leg. When it beeps, here we go on the other side. Hands are still doing jumping jacks. Lower body switched where we're balancing. Whew. Really thinking about having that core pulled in tight. This is all there is to it. The next time it beeps, my friends, is the last time it's going to. This was just enough cardio and just enough balance work, am I right? <laughs> that was just... Right, the right amount of push, the right amount of rest, the right amount of singing. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do some arm circles. I know some of you would argue that no singing would be the right amount of singing. <laughs> but then again, I know some of you would sing the whole way through and that's okay too. I love it, I love. I love that every single one of us has something that's maybe slightly different from each other that's exactly right for us, you guys. That, that is the spice of life. That is how you get everywhere you wanna go, by knowing what works for you. I actually have an entire video that's gonna be here on screen in just a couple of seconds that talks about the five things that you need to do and all five of them are really up to you to figure out how it can help you lose weight. I also 
on the other side of the screen. Let's go ahead and open it up nice and wide. I have some more stretching for you. If you would like a little bit longer cool down, give yourself a hug and a pat on your sweaty back, my friends. A little bit longer cool down, a little bit more walking, a little bit more stretching, a little bit more. Just that little bit more. It's right here for you on screen. You guys, you guys, it's October. And that means I've got five days in a row of workouts that you can repeat all month long. So before you go, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow.